About 15 years have passed since Super Fireworks defeated the Fiery Moogie. Things have been quite peaceful. It's special for Super Final Wars and Ruby. Super Final Wars and Ruby, eh, his relationship has been quite fine. Their relationship has been progressing quite well. And Super Final Wars and Ruby have their hands full. They have their hands full with seven kids. With them being half human, half dragon. Things have been kind of sort of fine for the two. And since Super Final Wars and Ruby were married, well, are married, things have just been quite well for the two. Super Final Wars has never been this happy in his entire life. Sure, he was happy when he was married to Or. A really long time ago, now he's even more happy that now that he's married to Ruby. Ruby was just looking after the kids while Sir Final was just gone. While Sir Farnos was gone, Ruby kind of looked out, looked after things, waiting for her husband to return. Ruby was getting a little visit. From her older sister, of course. So, sis, how have you been? I've uh, uh, been fine. I guess. I guess I've been fine. You know, it's not like you're fine. Yeah. Probably because I'm a little tired. You ain't got any sleep because, well, I'm pretty sure you can tell my kids kind of catch me up all night. You poor little bugger. Hey, shut up. Whatever. So, where is your final wars? Eh, you know. He's kind of busy. He's kind of busy looking after the kingdom. Looking after uh, the dragon kingdom and all that stuff. So, I'm just gonna come back home. Probably.
doing that for a while. He might be gone for quite a while. I think he, I think he told me that he won't come home until like later at 12 or something like that. Dang. Hey, it's not easy for him to be the Dragon Lord. Just really not easy for him at all. I can tell. Being a Dragon Lord must have some little consequences. So, I'm guessing something went wrong and well, he went to go take care of it or I don't really know. He seemed more in a rush to get out of here as fast as possible. I must, I'm guessing he must have sent something bad. So, oh, what are your kids doing? Yeah, they're watching some Doki Doki Literature Club videos. I told them not to, but they just won't listen. They really don't like listening to me at all. Well, I wonder where they got that from. Yang came up to look at Ruby. Oh, come on. I don't, I don't like that all the time. <sighs> Need some help or no? I would really appreciate if you lend me a hand. Alright. Yang yeah, tried to get the kids to stop watching some Doki Doki literature club videos, but they end up tickling, tickling her to death. Ruby could have to watch and laugh. <laughs> ah, I love my kids.